Welcome to Spencer's Spot. Today, Mommy's going to do the words. All right, so we had a viewer suggestion from one of our subscribers who knows that we have a CSA every year, which is a Community Supported Agriculture, who suggested that we, every week, show you which fruits and vegetables that we've gotten and then pick one out to share something that you probably didn't know about it. Thinking that your average viewer probably doesn't know all about organic farming or about the different fruits and vegetables that you can get if you have a CSA. So what is a farm share? A farm share is like buying a magazine subscription where a member buys a share of the farmer's harvest at the beginning of the growing season and then either comes to the farm or in our case drop off location each week and picks up their share or box of the farm's vegetables. Ours happens to be an organic farm and organic farming refers to agriculture production that does not use genetically modified seeds, synthetic pesticides or fertilizer. So only all natural stuff. <laughs> And Spencer's favorite part is you get to go to the farm and pick out your own pumpkin in October. All right, Spencer, you're up. Let's see what we got this week. Uh-oh. Well, can you take the whole thing out? Yeah. Okay, let's do this one. Here. Can you show this? This is a what? This is red leaf lettuce. So we got a big head of red leaf lettuce this week. Put it yeah. on the table. Okay, be nice because somebody in the house is going to eat that. Okay. Just set it down. And next is this. Can you show this? This is a bunch of spinach. So, old school people probably remember Popeye. I fight to the finish because I eat my spinach. We also got, what's next in the bag? Well, I'm not going to hold that. Hold it. It's not going to eat you. You're going to eat it. This is a big head of bok choy. That's super great in stir fries and salads. Okay, put it down. All right, that's half. What's what else did we get? What's in your other bag? A uh, rhubarb. And do you know anything about rhubarb? Uh, it's like a stick. It's like a stick. Yeah, that you can't throw on the street. Well, we don't suggest you throw food in the street. <laughs> rhubarb is the same sort of texture as celery. Only it's super tart. And that's going to be our vegetable of the week. So we're going to tell you later more about rhubarb. What else did you get? Uh, more. Rhubarb. More rhubarb. Put it on the table. Keep going. Rhubarb. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We have a lot of that. Keep going. Oh, we have a bag. Yeah. Can you take it out? But that one's beeping. I know. Wow, what a huge bag. Okay, step back over here so they can see you. What did you get in the bag? Uh, I think potatoes. Potatoes. Yeah. Those are gold potatoes. Can you hold one up? Awesome. And one for Raj, but I like potatoes. <laughs> right. Olaf, right? Yeah. Olaf from Mod Squad likes potatoes. Those potatoes are, because they've been stored over the winter, they're super sweet. They have a lot of um, starch converted into sugars. So they actually are taste really and they like can sweet. make themselves into french fries. Yeah, you could make them into french fries. Yeah. Can you hold up this? This is a plant. <laughs> That's actually green garlic. It looks like a green onion, but it tastes like garlic. So you can use all of that. 
and you just chop it up like you would a scallion like put it in eggs or on potatoes this is both green and purple asparagus and that's super yummy treat that you only get in the springtime and summer <laughs> springtime yeah. and then one last thing hold this up these are super big salad radishes that's one of Omi's favorites yep she likes that with just salt on it okay can you hold the rhubarb up again put that down find a rhubarb this rhubarb yep all right so one pound of rhubarb equals about three cups of chopped rhubarb or two cups of cooked. So if your recipe calls for six cups or six and a half cups, like you're making a crumble, which is daddy's favorite, then you need two pounds of rhubarb. <laughs> Hold it up so they can see. The redder that stalk is, the sweeter the rhubarb is. So if you're looking at the store and you see one that's super red, that one's going to be a little sweeter than one that's green. And look for this other rhubarb. <laughs> yeah. But make sure that if you're go getting one from the store that hasn't already been trimmed like this one, that you do not eat the leaves that are on top of the stem. The leaves are poisonous. Yeah, that will make you in poison. It could kill you. Vegetables should not kill you. And said, and we can't eat this. You can totally eat that. You don't like tart things though, so I don't know that you're gonna eat it. I like this tart. You like that one because it's tart. Yeah. Well, normally mommy makes it into dessert, so it's a good way to get your kids to eat their vegetables. Yeah. Rhubarb's a vegetable, even though that most of the time it's served in dessert. Yeah. It has bunnies. It just looks like that. It's yeah. very fibrous. It has lots of vitamin C and lots of fiber, which is good for you. Makes you poop. <laughs> Make you poop your pants also. Oh, don't say that. Only it doesn't for really. babies. Only for babies. Give me a comment down below and subscribe and watch for more videos and watch for your local Spencer. Bye. <laughs> watch for your local Spencer. <laughs> So this is going to be a segment we're going to do every week. Spencer shows you what came in the CSA. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye. See you later, alligator.